Now let us look at this finite automata. This finite automata is actually I have taken a you know uh, uh, complicated example directly instead of taking simple examples because I think this method is so simple that you don't actually you know you, uh, you can I can directly jump on to the complicated methods. So here we need to make a regular expression for this given finite automata. And we are going to use the Arden's method to give regular expression. So let us see how to do it. Okay. We have four states here. Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. First of all, you need to understand what are the states which are unreachable from the start state. If you want to convert it to a regular expression, remove all the states which are unreachable. Here there are no states which are unreachable. Every state is reachable. Secondly, for every state you have to write an expression. Like for example, Q1, if this Q1, how can you reach to Q1? You can reach to the state Q1 if you get B from Q2. That means if you get B from Q2 or if you get A from Q3, if you get A from Q3 or you get epsilon. That means you are at the start state without just by seeing epsilon you will be staying at the same state so you can read q1 by seeing this by seeing q b at q2 or a at q3 or epsilon if you are at q2 how can you reach q2 to reach q2 you have to see an a from q1 that means if you have to see an a from q1 otherwise there is no other method to reach to q2 if you want to reach to q3 then you you can only reach to Q3 only if you see B from Q1. If you see B from Q1. In the same way, for Q4, you can only reach Q4 if you see an A on Q2 or you can see an B on Q3 or you can see an A at Q4 or B at Q4. Okay, so this is the only method. Here in this complete finite automata, there's only one state which is a final state that is Q1. Q1 is the only final state. So here in all these expressions, if we can remove, if we can solve this expression by removing this Q2 and Q3 by the appropriate symbols, then we can get a regular expression. Right, and we are going to extensively use the you know theorem which is R is equal to p plus rq it can be written as pq star which is the Arden's method okay now for example here here we have q2 and we have q3 you can replace q2 and q3 by their exact values here exactly because we have four expressions and we have to solve this expression we have to remove all the states that all the present states so the first expression can be written as Q1 is equal to Q2B and the value of Q2 is Q1A. So Q1A dot B plus Q3 can be written as Q1B plus Q1B dot A plus epsilon. Okay. Now this can be written as Q1 is equal to epsilon plus take Q1 common. So it is q1 dot ab plus ba now if you compare it with the Arden's theorem so you can see this is r this one is r this is r this is p this is r and this is q so this complete can can be written as p q star so we can see q1 can be written as epsilon dot q star that is ab plus ba whole star which is again equivalent to only ab plus ba whole star therefore i've i represented the complete diagram just by using this simple regular expression okay let us take few more examples and let us try to you know solve those examples to get regular expressions for those finite automatas okay